Let's say you want to have your own domain name email. For example, hey at yourwebsite.com. How exactly do you do that? I know GoDaddy and other providers that you buy your domain name have it to where you can use their website for your email. But honestly, guys, it kind of sucks because it's just not Google. It's not Gmail. I want to use Gmail. So how can you use Gmail for your own domain name? I'm going to show you how. And before we dive into this, make sure you buy your domain name at GoDaddy. Dot com. That's what I use, GoDaddy.com for your domain name. You can buy it through Google. I personally like GoDaddy. So GoDaddy for your domain, Gmail, Google for your email with your own domain name. So let's get started. First step you're going to want to do is click Get Started. Once you click Get Started, you're going to see where to put in your first name and your last name. So go ahead and type that in. Next, you're going to put in an email that you use, a primary email that you would never lose access to, or make sure to remember this email. Don't forget it, okay? Next, if it's just you, click one person. And then use existing domain, because remember, you already bought your domain name through GoDaddy. You then want to type in the domain name here, and then click continue. Next, you're going to put in what you would like for your domain. I put hey at the domain name.com. And this says the business plan is $18 a month, but I'm going to show you how to lower that down to $6 a month. So for now, click continue. And then when you finish, I'm going to show you where to go to make it $6 a month before your free trial ends. Next, you're going to fill out your address and then your card information. It's not going to charge your card until the trial ends. Once you've done that, push continue and then agree to the terms. You're going to sign in with your username and password and click I understand. You're then going to click sign in to activate, sign into your GoDaddy account to connect it. And then it's going to take about five minutes to connect your domain name to the email with Gmail. Okay, and there you go. So now I'm going to show you what to do in order to change it from $18 a month to $6 a month. So in the menu option, you're gonna click on billing. After you click on billing, you're gonna click on subscriptions. Click there. And then underneath upgrade or downgrade on the left-hand side, you're gonna click on Google Workplace Business Starter. There is another one for $12 a month that is Google Workplace Business Standard. So if you like, you can compare those two. Now, how do you add more users? Let's say, for example, you have a staff or you want to do hey and then another email at, let's say, for example, your name at the domain name .com. And then let's say you have a teammate named Stacy, Stacy at the domain name .com. You're going to go to home. Underneath home, you're then going to go to users and you're going to click where it says add new users. And underneath users, this is where you can make edits as far as if you need to reset a password. If you need to edit things about a user, the image, the name, etc., you could do all that here. So there you have it, guys. This is how you set up your domain name with a Gmail, but with your own domain name.com email. Now you can go on your phone and set it up on your phone to have it saved there, but use Gmail instead of something just random. I hope you enjoyed this video and comment if you have any questions.